Hi guys, this is Arden here from Android Police. Uh, I'm here with Steven from Sony, or Sony Ericsson is it? Sony Ericsson for now. Yeah. And we're looking at the Xperia Ion, uh, the new phone announced today. It's going to be coming out with AT&T uh, in the US. Actually it was announced yesterday. Uh, here are the specs, and uh, Stephen, please take it away. Talk sure. a little bit about the phone. Well, as you did mention, this is this is going to be a Sony product, uh, subject to regulatory approval. But we have every intention to uh, launching this as a Sony product at, with AT and T in the second quarter. So we're very happy about it. It's an LTE product, uh, and then you have a lot of specs related to HD. The screen is HD, 720p, and it's 4.6 inches. But then both of the cameras that you have. Our, our HD as well. The uh, forward-facing camera, what you might think of as the video chat camera, is 720p. And then uh, your main camera, the primary camera on the back, is 1080p. Uh, while I'm thinking about the cameras too, you have a high megapixel count on this camera also for your still photos. It's 12 megapixel uh, and it has the Exmor R sensor from Sony for greater sensitivity under low light conditions giving you great image capture. And then it has a fast capture capability too. Uh, from going from your sleep mode to your first shot, it's 1.5 seconds or less, and then going from shot to shot, it's a second or less. So a very fast camera, really uh, narrowing that gap between standalone digital cameras and a camera phone. And there's an actual dedicated camera button. That's true. People are going to be really happy about that. There's a dedicated camera button right there on the bottom. So if I wake the phone back up and unlock it, and I go to the camera, Let's, let's just do, take a look, couple shots here and see how fast we can take our pictures. So just about as fast as I can get my finger on that button is about as fast as it's going to take the picture. So you make sure you're going to get the shot as soon as you're thinking about it. So no lag time at all. Also when we think of the HD capability, you've got full 1080p HDMI transfer. And when you connect an HDMI cable to the television, you get uh, what's called the TV launcher application, a carousel of special applications that show up on the Bravia screen. So you want to uh, access your Facebook account or surf the web, or access services like Music Unlimited and Video Unlimited and have it on the big screen as well. Because this, this does come preloaded with uh, Music Unlimited and Video Unlimited, so you can rent and buy movies, uh, you can stream music uh, from a catalog of more than 10 million songs. And with one login for Sony Entertainment Network, you get access to both of these services. So it's a, a common uh, login and the same wallet and everything makes it really easy to access lots of great entertainment content. Whether it's on the phone, or if you want to log in from your, your smart TV or your tablet uh, or your PC, you're going to get those services as well. And we heard it's uh, one of the first phones, in addition to the Xperia Play, to be uh, PlayStation certified. That what does is that correct. mean exactly? Well, what PlayStation certified means is giving you a great gaming experience of PlayStation emulation on hardware that is not PlayStation hardware. So for the world of hand Android, whether that's a, a Sony tablet or an Xperia smartphone, you're going to get that PlayStation-like experience on a device that's not a PlayStation itself. Now, the PlayStation Store is something that's coming to the U.S. for the, the phones, and we'll see that a little bit down the road. And you'll see a lot of great titles coming from many developers, not just uh, from Sony Computer Entertainment, but the, we've made public the, the software development kit for PlayStation Suite and the PlayStation Store. So there'll be a lot of great content coming down the road for a, a really great gaming experience on this. And, and what's cool to mention there, too, is that the PlayStation Store will be Sony Entertainment Network as well. So the same login, the same wallet, everything across devices with a great world of, of entertainment content from Sony, whether it's movies, music, videos, uh, television shows, movies, etc. But it doesn't mean that it's going to be compatible with like PS Vita games. Or right, it's, it's separate from the PlayStation Network. So PlayStation Store will be serving uh, Android tablets and, and okay. Xperia smartphones. Okay, and right now it's running Android 2.3.7, is it? Correct, so that the latest uh, version there of Gingerbread, and it will be upgradable to Ice Cream Sandwich. Okay, can you take us uh, through the UI a little bit? Um, I know you guys sure. do a light launcher compared to... We do, we do a light, uh, So because we understand that Android is great to begin with, so we uh, want to put enhancements in there. 
that that make it uh, that complement what you have, but not overtake what was already great with Android. So what you see right now here is the Friends application, where I can put in uh, plugins and add feeds for for my Facebook account and Twitter, etc. And you see the thumbnails of all the the folks that I'm following on Twitter. Uh, so you have a, like a social pane there. But these are just widgets. You can just take them off your yeah, screen. Yeah, if you wanted to, you do. All I have to do is if I want to remove a widget, sure. is I press and hold, and I drag it down there to trash can, and then that particular widget is going to be gone. And that's not one I'm going to get rid of because I want to do Google search. But uh, you could do that as well. And then you see your entertainment screen here. So you have music unlimited, video unlimited, and then a music service from AT&T because this is an AT&T customized product. And an AT&T also at, uh, uh, has us put on the Amazon Kindle uh, application as well on that. So more of your entertainment pane there. And then another one for at t with the Yellow Pages search. And it's just, just apps. Uh, you can always install them if you yes, want. Yes, you, you can add widgets. You can add widgets as you want by pressing and holding on the screen. And you can go and add any widget or shortcut that you want. And uh, that looks like and customize. standard Android. Yep. Yeah, and customize it as you wish. And an ice cream sandwich, a lot of it is much prettier. A lot of it has been done by Google already, so yeah. it's, it's going to be easier, hopefully easier to integrate with yeah, uh, so the changes. And yeah, anybody using an Android phone would find this type of menu very familiar to them. And you know, with the preloads we would have, like Sony Entertainment Network with Music Unlimited and Video Unlimited in there, but a lot of things that they're going to find recognizable with the applications that they would expect. And of course, accessing Android Market to make the phone do whatever you want it to do. Okay, sounds great. And can we take a look on, on the back side and maybe the sides as well? Sure. On this side, you have, uh, if I can open this up, you have one set, one place there for both your HDMI and the USB connectors. That's micro USB right there? Yes, micro USB and HDMI, micro HDMI. And on the back, we have the Xperia branding. You have your camera light and, of course, your primary camera, the 12 megapixel camera, which is also 1080p video. And on this side, you have your power key, the volume rocker, and the dedicated camera button. On the top, you have your 3.5 audio connector. That's the tour around. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome.